Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a concept called as a multi-container, right? So let's understand uh, what is the need of multi-container pod? What is multi-container pod? What are different design patterns we have while using a multi-container pod? Okay, and we'll also talk about what is init container. So now first let's understand what is multi-container pod? A multi-container pod is nothing but a, a pod which has multiple containers. Okay, which has multiple containers. Now, what is meant by, uh, basically, what is the need of that? Okay, what is the need of that? So, most of the time what happens, we'll have some primary application and then we need to add some helper functionality. Now, there is no point in customizing your existing application to add that helper functionality. Instead, we can have a separate helper functionality. We can create an image and we can start that content. Okay. Now, what kind of those helper function, uh, functionality we need? So first of all, the major advantage of multi-container pod is that they share the same network. Okay. They share the same network. They can directly access to each other by simply using a local host. Okay. They can easily share the storage. Now we can have some uh, basically a common storage. Okay. That is shared by both these containers. Okay. They share the same storage. So Due to that, basically, a lot of use cases or a lot of uh, uh, cases where we can easily use this multi-container board, right? For example, let's say I have one application, okay, in running in one container. And <clears throat> basically, uh, that is generating a data into some format, okay? Let's say uh, it's generating a data into the X format. Okay, but the someone who is going to consume it will need that data in a Y format. So what can happen is, as the storage is shared between these two containers, we can have a helper functionality here, which will read that data and convert into the Y format. And then this other entity, okay, let's say this is a B entity who wants to use that data in the Y form. So then we can share that to the B. Right. So this is a use case number one. OK. And this kind of a functionality or this kind of a container, we call it as a sidecar container. Okay, We call it as a sidecar container. So this is basically a, uh, there are different design patterns we have in a multi container pod. And sidecar is one of them, Okay, where we are creating another container there, which is going to basically help us to do some functionality. So this is the first use case. Let's talk about the second use case. Let's say there are different applications running. So there are, let's say, different types of applications running inside this container. Okay. Let's say we have a Python application, we have Go application, we have Node.js application. Okay, small, small utilities are running here. And all these are running in some different, basically, uh, uh, basically they are generating a logs in a different formats, okay? So now if you are storing that log or using some monitoring system is using that logs, but this monitoring system required those logs in some specific format. But now these applications are generating a data in a different, different format. So we can have some help, helper functionality, okay? Helper container, which is going to take this all logs and convert into one standard format, okay? And then can be consumed by some other, or we can export that data to some other entity which can be used for monitoring, okay? So this kind of a functionality, okay? Or this kind of a helper container, we call it as a, uh, basically, we call it as a adaptive container. Okay, adaptive containers. So this is a basically a second use case where if you have 
a helper entity which is basically take the data and do some processing on that okay like for example taking the logs okay so now here i just created a uh, let me just correct this now this can be as applications running in a separate separate container right you already know that multi container means we can have a multiple container so here you have a python application here golang here node.js these are running three different container they are generating the logs in a different different format and then this helper can just convert all those log into one standard format and then that can be shared it to uh, that can be shared it to some other entity who is going to consume that in the standard format so this kind of a basically a container we call it as a adaptive container okay? this kind of entity we call it as a adaptive container we have we just now talked about the adapter containers okay or adapter side uh, adapter multi container or design pattern now let's talk about one more that's the third one is ambassador okay third one is ambassador now what is meant by ambassador so ambassador means what let's say <clears throat> this is your application okay we have one container which has some maybe a front-end application which is connecting to some external databases okay well, let's say we have different type of data let's say this is a production database this is your test database okay or you, this is your stage database so there are different external applications we have we are connecting to that so now we don't want to directly expose our application or this front end application to the external entities right so in, in that case we can basically create a container one proxy container okay we can create another proxy container so this front end application will expose to the proxy and then this proxy will in the back end can talk to all these external databases okay so we don't need to basically expose our application directly to the external world instead we can expose it via proxy so this kind of a multi container we call it as an ambassador okay ambassador okay so these are the three different uh, i would say a uh, design patterns we have in a multi container let me quickly recap we talked about three design patterns sidecar means we'll have a kind of another container which is going to do some kind of a helping to the primary container okay we saw the second one which is an adapter container which is basically going to collect the data from different containers and will just do some processing on that and then share it to someone else and the third one is the ambassador which is basically working as a proxy so these are the three different design patterns we have in a multi container okay now when we create this okay when we want to basically create this pod it's a very simple okay we have a very standard uh, uh standard way of creating an pod right so we basically uh, specify api version then we specify a kind as a pod then under metadata okay we specify like name or a namespace let's say a multi container pod okay and then we'll have a spec where we'll have actual specification right but how to define a multi container pod so basically a container section is an array okay <coughs> sorry container section is an array so here you can define multiple containers so name let's say primary application okay and then you can use image as a let's say nginx so if you want to add another container you can just do array name it's a secondary okay and then image is the secondary application image okay nginx colon two, something so that's how okay there is no specific uh, attributes to specify that okay this is a sidecar or this is a adapter or this is an ambassador there is no standard or any attribute for that okay it's depending on our need we just need to create us multiple containers and we just give some different design pattern names to that okay so that's how simply we create any of this three multi container now let's talk about another concept the the next concept that we want you to talk about is the init container <clears throat> now what is meant by init container let's say 
you have one container, let's say container C1, okay? And now this C1 container is connecting to, let's say, want to connect to some database, okay? Or uh, basically depends on something else, okay? So what we can do is we can add another container, we call it as init. And what happens, init containers actually gets executed first, okay? This will get executed first and then this second. So first of all, init container will get executed. And then whatever you want to do, like maybe if you want to just check if the database is up and running and get the connection, or if you want to uh, pull some external dependency or external libraries, okay? Right? Or whatever means like before running and your primary application, if you want to do something before that, maybe uh, connect to the database, pull external dependency, get some, get do the git clone to some repo, because these are shared, right? They are sharing the storage. So whatever you want to do it, that init container will do that, okay? And then once init container execution is in the completed state, then your primary, this particular container will get executed, okay? So if you need, if you have any such need, use an init container, okay? Now, define init container, basically, we have a separate section, okay? Maybe I can uh, show you the way we are writing, okay? This is a standard pod.yaml. So before a container section, basically here, there is a init container section, okay? Init container. And then we have a same attribute like name. We can use some image. And then we can also use a command attribute, okay? We have a command attribute where we can do maybe a git clone, you can do it. You can test a database connection by running some curl command, or you can just pull some external libraries, right? So that's something you can def define it in the init container, which will basically initialize all the stuff required. And once this is in a completed state, your primary container will get executed. Okay, so this is how your init container works. So I hope everyone understood a multi-container concept where we talked about uh, what is multi-container pod, what are different design patterns like sidecar, adapter, ambassador, and then we also talked about init container, okay? So that's it for the, this video. I'll come up with another video where I'll show you uh, all these different uh, types of or uh, uh, design patterns of multi-container practically, okay? So that's, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.